Cheers. Cheers. To the MMA neighborhood. Oh, yeah, baby. And welcome to the MMA neighborhood, baby. We're going over USC 284. Ooh. Volkanovski taking on Islam in the super fight for that lightweight belt, baby. Oh, yeah. Volk is going for two belts. Can he do it? Oh. And on the co-main, we got another belt on the line. We got the interim title of Volkanovski's featherweight belt between Yar Rodriguez taking on Josh Emmett. Yes, we do. Two fire fights. On Ooh. that night, and but before we go into it, we got the Stephen Prelims. Yeah, go, the baby. Stephen Prelims. This Let's is go. where I thank you, thank you, Devin, for that wonderful intro. This is where I go. I try. This, yeah, I, you do, and I love it. See, this is where I go over some of the like the highlights of the prelims, right? Right. But let's just face it. There's not a whole lot going on because there's a lot of people. That we don't know. There's yeah, I was a lot questioning of, if you're going to skip it this time because, you well, know, there's really not much. I know there's not a lot of beef on this prelim. Yeah, well, I mean, we have, a, you know, there's a couple of notable names. Tyson Pedro, he's the, the main event for the prelims. He's he's going against this guy called Modestas. Okay. Um, Modestas, I'm pretty sure, is coming from cage fighters or cage fighting? Yeah, cage warriors. Cage warriors, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, he's coming from there, but he was in with the UFC. Mm. A while ago, but he was just getting fucked up. So, yeah. So he's coming back. So he's coming back, and I'm thinking it's just like a give me win for Tyson Pedro. Okay. And yeah, it's home crown, hometown advantage for Pedro, right? Yes. Like They're in Oz, Australia for this car, right? Is this an Aussie car, I believe? Yes. This nice. Is, this is the one. This is a lawyer. A lot of people thought, um, uh, what's his face? Is he? Whit- no, Whitaker Whit- oh, and yeah. was going to fight Whitaker Costa. Costa was supposed to be on his car. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a nice addition. Dude. That's where they said it was going to happen, but that sounds about right, though. It'd have been cool. Yeah, it would have been. But anyways, and then you have Jamie Malarkey. Everyone knows the name. You know, he's all right. He's good. And like, honestly, there's just not a whole lot of notable names. But once again, don't miss the prelims because you just never know. Never know, baby. Yeah. But moving on to the main card, UC 284. Let's go. Yes. First fight of the night. Jimmy Croup. Versus oh. Alonzo Manafield. This is a light heavyweight bout. Oh, Jimmy crute has been on a downhill slide uh, lately. He's, I think he's got knocked out by Jamal Hill, who's the current yeah. light heavyweight champion. He's on a two fight skid right now. Jamal Hill and Anthony Smith. Ooh, so both killers took him out, and uh, Alonzo Manafield's on the other side of the fence. He's actually doing pretty well for himself right and now. He's uh, he's on a two fight win streak, both by knockouts. Yeah, so uh, it it looks like the. Tides are in uh, Manfield's hands. He's a big guy, man. He's very explosive. Oh, dude, he's he's a he's monster. Scary. He's scary to fight, man. So the crew, uh, you, keep yeah. on that, mo- keep the mullet on tight, baby. Because <laughs> don't let that thing fly off your head. Lonzo's got some fucking hands, man. He does. I and I always go for Jimmy Crew. I because I don't know. There's something yeah. about the. I'm going for Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Root, baby. Come on, the Jimmy. Root. Yeah, I like I like Crew too, man. But I do too. It's a tough challenge for him to head. Uh, it's not. I don't know. It doesn't look too nice for him. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tough challenge for Jimmy. Yeah, Alonzo's got great wrestling as well, so he can grind yeah. him out. I, yeah, I hope Jimmy can pull something off. But uh, I got Alonzo winning this first fight of the night. Yeah, just to, you know to make it short and sweet. Yeah, I see the same thing. I feel like it's. I feel like the strength is going to be on Alonzo's side. The wrestling, just basically, a, overall, overall, yeah. I think Alonzo's got it. He's got the high and, and I like, though. and like I said, I always go for Jimmy, but yeah. you know he's just not hitting it right now. Well, moving on, we got some big boys that do hit. Mm. Oy. Justin Taffa versus oh. Parker Porter. Oh, both these guys not big names, but they are big boys. I heard uh, Justin Taffa. I just read a story that he actually was the first heavyweight to miss weight. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so this guy comes in. He's a big boy. That's insane. That is. There's a 265 limit. That is so stupid. He probably came in like 270 something. Damn. Dude, like, really? Why does it matter? I know. When you're that heavy, why does it matter? I heard Francis Ngana, the former heavyweight champion. He's. I heard he's walking around 300 plus right now. Dude. I mean, who, who gives a fuck about him now, dude? He's a fucking. Oh. He's going. He's going to boxing, bro. Oh, we he, did get that Jones versus. Gone fight's gonna happen soon, so <laughs> that's official. We'll, we'll go over yeah. that soon in a couple yeah, interviews. Dude. But damn, that's coming up soon, dude. Man. Honestly, this this is like this mar- this pay per view starts like a good like th- four or five solid pay per views. Yeah, you're right. This is like the weakest one though, you're right? Because I think Gone and, and Jones is actually coming up next, if I'm not mistaken. But I can't recall. At the yeah, moment. that's a good heavyweight. These guys aren't on anywhere near those guys level though. These guys nope. are uh, just kind of like the bottom barrel of the heavyweight division. Uh, yeah. Par- Parker. Porter Parker, Parker Porter, yeah, Parker Porter. He's, <laughs> Porter he's a big boy himself. He's 
He's uh not doing too well uh, record wise. He's not that well that great, but yeah, just, it looks like it's just a big boy slugfest in this one, boy. Who do you got? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about either of these people. Yeah. But you know, it's Australian. I know Justin Taffa. He's a Kiwi. You know, he's not Australian. But I'm still gonna go for Justin Taffa. All right, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna go with the Kiwi. Let's mm. keep it a uh, hometown advantage. Let's go for the home crowd. Yeah. Hero right there, baby. Yeah, Let's yeah. see what he's got. Even though he only has like a five and three record, he might make it a six. You just never, never, never know. But now let's get to a fight where it's going to start kind of heating up, I feel like. Yeah. So it's a little bit. Jack Della Manadelina versus Randy Brown. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Now, man. this is actually a pretty decent, even though you might not know the names, but their resumes, you know, are pretty are all right. They're yeah, not think, half bad. I think Randy Brown is building up some steam. I think he's on a four or five win streak, and he's pretty rangy. He's he's a he's a Jamaican fighter, and he's got mm-hmm. some pretty skill, pretty high level skill with his hands. Yeah, his last four wins were Francisco Trinaldo. We all know him, Francisco yeah. Trinaldo. Then it was Chaos Williams. Then it was Jared Gordon, who just fought Patty, and then Alex Oliveira. Yeah, so not bad, not a bad resume. He's, yeah. He's lining them up, so he's and, trying to catch another win over Jack. And then Jack, I mean, he hasn't lost a fight since a long time, since 2016. 2016? 2016. 2016. Yeah, I so mean, he's, well he's on a too. he's on a fat win streak right now. No though, way. Fat, oh, fat. Man. His last so three looking this guy. Huh? His last three wins were all TKOs. Um, his Dana White Contender Series fight was a decision, but hey, fuck it. Since he's been in, he's only knocked people out. No way. Yes. I, well, I was thinking about leaning towards Rude Boy. Uh, rude, rude Boy. boy. Randy Brown, Rude, rude Boy. Rude. But I don't know, man. That now that you're telling me Jack's resume, I should have researched that one better. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's some people like the. I know sometimes the name value isn't there on cards. Yeah. But, you, you know, just dig a little bit. It sounds like we got a banger coming that's up. That's what our I'm saying. This there. is where we start getting some meat and potatoes sounds in our like meal. A you know banger, what I'm saying? Baby. And, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I think you switched my opinion. I think I'm going to go for Jack, baby. Yeah, you're going to go for Jack. Yeah, I'm Jack. putting bunny on Jack. I don't know, man. This is going to be a tough, tough fight. Yeah. But. Good matchup. But so you're going for Jack Jack? Yep. I'm going for Randy Brown. Let's go. Going for Jack Mandalonian. Oh, man. Randy Brown about to smoke him, bro. All right, we'll see. Smoke see the Root Boy, Root Boy bro. got it or not, bro. Hey, yo, oh, no. I think he's gonna grind it out. We're about to find out. Well, we gonna find out. But if that fight ain't fired. This next one is guaranteed, man. Mm-hmm. Yar Rodriguez. <laughs> Yar Yar. <laughs> Yar Rodriguez <laughs> taking on Josh Emmett for that vacated. Featherweight, or actually it's not vacated, the interim yeah, featherweight yeah, title. Yeah, yeah. So it's not vacated, it's just the interim. But still, title is on the line, and both these guys are well-deserving. Yara Rodriguez just came off that win against Brian Ortega, which is kind of... A, wasn't the best win, because Ortega got hurt. Yeah, it's just... But before I, that, Rodriguez is doing damage. He's knocking people out. And same with Josh Emmett. Was, he's been getting some high-quality wins. He just come off a great win off Josh or no, Cater. Ca- Calvin Cater, Calvin which... Cater, uh, which is questionable, too. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> they beat the highest guy, highest-ranked guys in the division, and now they're facing each other for the interim featherweight title. Yeah. Now, okay. This is a really good fight. Really good fight stylistically. Oh, yeah. We have a good brawler in Josh Emmett. Very good. He's got pretty... His striking's been... Pretty good, but he didn't, in my, in my opinion, didn't look that great against a bigger, taller guy in, in Calvin Cater. Yeah. So what, what I think here, I can't, don't recall, but Rodriguez might be a little taller. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's got a lot more technique. He's got a lot, he's a little more flashy, but I think he uses it well. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, I feel He uses the, it really this, well. He's gotten to this point. Yeah, you know. He's got the flash, and he uses it completely well, but, mm-hmm. you know, Josh Emmett, he's got this power level that's, Really unheard of in that featherweight division. He cracks and he's put people's lights out and he's got a great overhand right. It is somewhat predictable. Mm-hmm. And uh, Yara Rodriguez can't give him problems with all the the you know techniques and different weapons and tools. Yeah, I feel like the biggest ro- tool that Rodriguez can use for sure leg kicks because his kicks. I mean, in the Max Holloway fight. His kicks were crazy good, and Max Holloway was serving him back, which was surprising. Yeah, but uh, I think jo- uh, Josh Emmett's gonna have a huge fucking problem but with those. I'm glad you brought up the Holloway fight because what Holloway did to answer those late kicks is wrestling, and Josh Emmett we can't overlook, dude. He's got some solid wrestling. Yes, he's good right. on the top game. It's mm-hmm. pretty damn solid. Yes. So if he can catch those late kicks and mm-hmm. grind Yara Rodriguez out, it could be a mm-hmm. long night for yeah. 
for Rodriguez. Yeah, I definitely see what I would think Rodriguez would be doing is a lot of feints, feints uh, to the to the leg kick, a lot of feints, body kick, kind of mixing it up, and then yeah. really just sneak past and land a head kick. You know what I'm saying? Very uh, Thug Rose versus Zhang Wiley style. Mm. That I would really like to see that happen. Um, I think or that Leon Edwards or Leon <laughs> Edwards, he'll just faint, just faint, Ooh. faint, faint, and then just catch him with the head kick. I feel like that would be the quickest way for Rodriguez to end this fight early. Yeah, in and, my opinion. And Leon Edwards versus Usman had shouted out. That's another pay per view card coming yep. up. I think it's those three in a row: Volk and Islam, mm -hmm. Jones and Gain, and then uh, the Edwards Usman. Yeah, so rematch. so great cards coming up. Yeah, and I think but, there's even one more after that too, but I can't wait. recall. But yeah, you're right. He could sneak something in nasty. That's nasty what I kick. think at least, though. Well, I, I don't know. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's going to be a tough fight for Rodriguez. I honestly think he's overlooking Emmett. And Emmett's a beast, bro. Like, he's kind of like a Jessica Andrade. Like, he just comes in heavy. He's going to go Ooh. for the kill early. And if not, if he can't get it, he's gonna, he can grind him out. So I'm leaning towards Josh Emmett. What? And one, bro, and for this co-main event. I, get out. Yeah, Rodriguez can win. He's got the techniques. But honestly, I've seen Frankie Edgar beat him. So let's well, just wrestling, and uh, I don't know if you ever fixed that whole hallway beat him wrestling. I think Josh Emmett can do the How same thing. How long ago was that? Well, hallway was recent, so I think Josh Emmett won't have a problem. If he Dude. does, it's, he's gonna get caught, like you said, with something sneaky. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, think Emmett's got this. I feel like Calvin Cater, like I said, the first like example I said, Calvin Cater was a bigger, uh, taller dude than Josh Emmett, and Josh Emmett, in my opinion. Wasn't nearly hitting him as much. Wasn't doing. Wasn't he? Didn't look that great to me. Wasn't and I'm, sh I'm shocked he won. You know, we both are. Let's yeah. be honest. We're both shocked. Both shocked that Josh Emmett beat Calvin Cater. Yar Rodriguez is probably probably on the same level technicality wise. Uh, maybe not with the strut, the, with the hand strikes, but with the kicking. You know, mixing everything up. He's very good at yeah. that. I see. I see Rodriguez really piecing this dude apart. And like you said, if Josh Emmett can catch a leg kick. You know, could be a problem. Could yeah. be. But I think it's pretty cut and dry for me, dude. Yara Rodriguez, probably more than likely by decision. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I would like to see Rodriguez just to do a sneaky thing. Uh, first round knockout, though. I would, I would love what? to see that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, I could definitely see that happening. No doubt Yara Rodriguez will piece up Emmett on the feet. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to get to the ground. Emmett's going to have to eventually go for that wrestling. And I think he's going to find success in it. And uh, be able to control Rodriguez on the ground. Maybe bust him up with some elbows, baby. Some I mean, elbows from the top. We will we'll see. see. Is Rodriguez see. really going to be able to hit dude. him from taking fuck him down? Fuck you, dude. Rodriguez, get up. Man, fuck, man, fuck. All the way, Man, I was, no being all coy. I was being all coin shit. Fuck that. Rodriguez about to dust this full first round head kick, man. One shot. Head shot dead, motherfucker. What's up? Oopsie. Shit. Whoopsie. <laughs> But now it's time. Yeah. We're talking about the featherweight champion, Volkanovski, moving up to take on the lightweight champion, Islam. Islam Makamea. I still can't say his last <laughs> dude, name. But dude, I ain't going to front. No, I, can't, I can't say his name. I can't Makamea, say his name. <laughs> Islam Magomedov, Volkanovski for the lightweight title. This is a super fight. This is Volk's chance to get two belts mm -hmm. and be uh, another one in the history books that hold two at the same time, just like my old friend McGregor. Oh, so here it there is, it baby. Is. And I, I'm is. loving Volk, dude. He is the pound for pound number one right now. And Islam challenged. I do respect Islam challenging him as soon as he took the belt from Charles Oliveira. Mm -hmm. So this is a good matchup. I'm glad it's it's happening now and not yeah. later. Yeah. And it's, I can't wait to break this down with you, brother. Yeah, honestly, I feel like this is the best fight for is on the take right now because there's really not a cut and dry. Like, there's a lot of possible contenders in the lightweight division, but oh, not, yeah. there's no like solid one right now. Right, there's I no feel one, like, but there's a lot coming up. Yeah, it's steaming is boiling up to the top. Yeah, exactly. That that pot that pot water's on shimmer. Yeah, it's about to boil, bro. Yeah, and this is Vol and and in Volk since his division was kind of the same. Like, there really wasn't a number one contender yet. Yeah, so this is actually a great fight for both of them yeah. to, like, really let everything else build up for these coming months. Yep, and you, when Volk wants to come back, win or lose, mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. got a he's got a fight coming back against the winner of Rodriguez yeah. and Emmett. Yeah. But, dude, Volk in this fight, dude, you can't count him out. Everybody's counting out Volk because he's small. Big time. But he has got definitely a striking advantage. He's an awesome striker. He trains with Izzy Adesanya, and he's... He puts him, you know, to work too, mm. bro. Like his hands is great. He's good at switching stances. He's got good kicks. He's sneaky. He's powerful, and his shortness might help him in this fight because uh, 
it might be harder for Islam to get underneath them and take them down. That is a definite possibility. And yeah. uh, Alexander, he's got some wrestling too. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Islam's only four inches taller than him, according to UFC.com. But we all know how shit of a sight that it was. Yeah. I think he's going to look significantly bigger than Volk in the cage. But I don't yeah, know. Probably, maybe. It's only going to matter when it hits the ground. If Islam gets him on the ground, then that's that size is going to matter mm-hmm. for sure. But on the feet, Volk can give him a little run for his money, in my opinion. Yeah. And like you said, I want to bring up a little bit of Alexander the Great's resume. He, oh, yeah, baby. Dude, he's fought at welterweight. Won. You're right. You know, obviously in different organizations, but fought at welterweight and won the championship there. Then he fought... At lightweight and won the championship there in different organizations, obviously. You know, he's only lost of just a couple of times. Wait, once? He's only lost once yeah, one in a for, welterweight battle. Too, yeah, exactly. So. so, yeah. I mean, he did get TKO'd, but I haven't seen it. But either way. Yeah, it was a long time. He's old, wait, exactly. That was long ago. Way before UFC. 2013. Yeah. So, so you he, know what I'm saying? He's proved that he's gone up weight class no problem. This yeah. He started way. at heavier weight class yeah. as a move down. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think... I feel like a lot of people are ignoring the fact that, or they just don't know that he's fought at welterweight and lightweight already. Do you think he's had enough time to like bulk up for this fight? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hundred percent. Because he was the back backup for Charles and Islam. You know right. what I'm saying? So even though he was rushing it, you know, he probably he was already training. For yeah, it. he was already train. He's already doing this. He while, was already training for. While it. Islam was in the camp for Charles Oliveira, he's probably already tra- he's already in camp for. Oh him. yeah, and you know, especially, excuse me. You know, probably he's probably training for a little bit of both of them, Charles Oliveira yeah. and Islam. You know, but yeah, either to way, be honest, I, I feel like he would have had a better chance against Charles Oliveira. I think he could have sealed that one easier. But um, maybe this one's gonna be a tougher challenge, in my opinion. Islam's because his grappling, he could be junior, baby. He's could be junior. Yeah, his grappling's the best in the lightweight division. Yeah, and uh, Volk's gotta stay. Keep it on the feet. He cannot get it on the ground. Yeah. He has, if he gets on the ground, he has to immediately get up, work up against the cage and walk up the mm-hmm. cage and get the hell up. Yeah. I mean, but it's so diff I mean, for the that's that's the only time I'll see his height uh disadvantage being a really problem. Yeah. I feel like he'll he'll have like almost and it's gonna be a very low chance that he's gonna get back up again. Now because a bigger dude on top of you, dude, he's gonna just blanket him. Uh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? He's, he's really be... gotta work angles, man, and keep that distance, baby, and not let, let uh Islam cut him off and yeah, and get his hands on him. And thank you. I was gonna say he's gotta use footwork, he's gotta keep it moving, circling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He can't be stagnant. Kind of like uh what Izzy was doing when it when Izzy fought Alex Pereira. The last time when he was circling around, it was really working well, out more, for him. I know it's different. No, uh, more t- like a Vittori. When Izzy fought Vittori, he was able to just easily move around him. Yeah. Vittori is takedown hungry. Mm-hmm. And Izzy just made it look easy not to get just yeah. avoid it constantly, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. And they train together. They have the same style of not getting taken down a lot. I've only seen Volk in trouble once, and that was against your boy Brian Ortega. City, baby. Yeah. So, but it showed adversity that Volk can get out of a very dangerous situation. Yeah. Now. Uh, if he gets in a spot like that against Islam, he might not get out. Yeah. And, you know, and so he needs to be real careful getting in those type of situations. Yeah. I mean, the one thing is about that T City thing, he got knocked down, you know what I'm saying? He got punched and knocked down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't see how strong and see, uh, you know, you hear I hear Islam saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm working on my strike. I don't want to prove something. Like he kind of he's like talking like very prideful and shit. But I think that's just uh yeah. I think that's just kind of him like playing, well, playing I hope, around. I hope he sticks to that word and he tries to strike. No, I, he's he, in for a rude awakening if he does, boy. There's it, no way. He's from the down, down <laughs> under, baby. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I came from a London. London. <laughs> oh dude, I want to hear that song before comes in, bro. <laughs> And it's knockabout, dude. It's just, I mean, so great. Dude, oh nah, bro. God. That ain't happening. <laughs> oh, dude, man, I can't wait. Islam dude. is just playing. He's like fooling. Uh, he's, well, play, look, he's putting hey, out propaganda out there. We That's got it. X Factor, boy. Oh, what's the X Factor? X Factor. X Factor. Khabib Jr.'s <laughs> yeah. boyfriend Khabib ain't going to be there, dude. Oh, he's, no, he's no, no, he's head, not. Yeah, his corner man Khabib. Camp no. isn't, you know, he's taking his, uh, his time away from the sport right now. So he won't have Khabib cornering him. And mm-hmm. if he gets emotional in there, he doesn't have anybody really settle down his nerves. I don't know. I think Vulcan get in his head, tag him up early, baby. If he, all he has to do is stuff a few takedowns, and Islam might lose some confidence. Yeah. Know? And if he does lose that confidence, he doesn't have his boy to be there to help him fucking get it back up. You it's kind of like when uh, Stipe fought Ngannou too. 
when uh, Stipe, like, he went for a takedown and Ganu stuffed it. Yeah. And he was like, oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, oh, like, dude. Oh, dude, you're fucked right now. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you, right? I, I'm going to go. Here's my pick, baby. Here's in your pick. Neighborhood. I'm going for the great Alexander Volkanovsky. Double champ, champ, baby. Let's get that <laughs> belt, bro. Take it from him because they be talking all this shit, but show them why you're pound for pound. Number one. Let's go, Volk, baby. How's it happen? I'm going to go for decision or a late round TKO, round four or five. Really? And he might finish that boy if he, yeah, if, as long as if he stuffs enough. And maybe he does get taken down once or twice, but enough stuffs will slow down Islam and then he could take advantage of that. Okay. Finish him up, boy. Let's go. Come on, Look, bro, come on. See, how much, how much of your decision is based on bias? Oh, well, come on. We can't say that. Come yeah, on. we can. What the fuck? There's a f- I, I, got, I think 50% of it. I think I'm at 50-50. Like, yeah, I want Volk to win, but also I do believe he can beat him. Yeah. I do believe he can beat him as well. 100% he can beat him. Mm-hmm. But, dude, I don't know, man. It's going to be a tough, tough fight for him. Oh, for sure. Tough fight. And I am this, – this has been one of the hardest ones. Yeah. Because it's like I don't – Want to say like the shorter guy is always going to be at like a complete disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? I always like to bring up Rashad Evans, Pat Barry, and heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They were getting wins in there and they were much significantly smaller. You know what I'm saying? The smaller guy can't always have a chance against a bigger, taller dude. Yeah. 100%. But this bigger, taller dude, Islam, he's, I don't think he's got the power. I don't think he's got the striking. He's got the wrestling. That's it. Yep. Um, technicality, wise, technicality wise, technicality wise, that's all Volk. Um, I feel like uh, the footwork for Alexander needs to be superb. He really needs to so- showcase that 100%. Yeah. He, if he does, the footwork is key. That's the X factor for me. His footwork mm-hmm. has got to be on point. He's got to be circling. He's got to be doing all that. Um, he's got to go in and out. I wouldn't be throwing too many uh, leg kicks, but um, obviously he's going to to try to slow oh, him down. Yeah. He's got some mean calf kicks, bro. Yeah, but you know, do that against an elite wrestler like Islam. You're asking yeah. for trouble. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, use more hands, get in and out, yeah. circle. Yes, hundred percent. He's got the footwork. That's why I have belief in the man. He's way more. He has better footwork than I would say than Gaethje and like and Poirier and even Chandler. Like I think he's mm-hmm. got some. He's got better movement than those guys. Yeah. Maybe not power, mm-hmm. better movement. Yeah, Islam, but he he grabs onto you. He's gonna hold. He's 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 gonna be like glue, man. He's gonna stick to him. Oh yeah, he's and, gonna hug like a blanket, baby. <sighs> exactly. He's gonna lay on a blanket, right? One of those weighted blankets that motherfuckers be using and shit. I yeah. don't get those, man. <laughs> weighted I, blanket. Dude, dude you, 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 ever, you ever wear like a weighted blanket? Weighted blanket, no, man. It's like, I, did you know those little balls are glass? I don't think I the, like a weighted blanket. I don't <laughs> like Islam, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, going on tangent, man. I always sit, man. Never mind. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna, like either. Man, one. those weighted blankets trip me out. But anyways, um, I got to go with Alexander Volkanovsky. Yeah! I got you, bro. Aussie, There's Aussie, too Aussie. many. Oi, Aussie, oi, Aussie. oi. Woo! Come on, dog. Now, Let's look, it. This, is, it could, this fight could easily lo- go south very quickly in the first round. Yeah. Very quickly. Um, especially when they're dry. dry. Alexander Volkanovsky going to have a hard time getting back up. He's right. got to really not rush. He's got to keep his got to keep himself in check. Mm. Same thing. If he could fluster Islam, good. But yeah. don't make that your primary objective in the fight because if you do that you're gonna get caught i guarantee fucking to you you will get caught if you try to smart 100 percent. he's he has to use his fight iq and outsmart him in this fight 100 percent. yep you can't just go out there and think you're gonna knock him out which you probably can't you can't go out there just you know defending takedowns can't Mm -hmm. anticipate it you just the, he has to be the best version of himself we've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. And that's asking, 100%. that's asking a, a, that's a tall pound order. Pound number one, baby. Let's go. That don't matter, dog. Yo, Islam's yeah. still new to this game, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, he did beat Charles Oliveira, which is, you know, absolutely amazing. But I would say just, that was an off night for Charles. Though. Let's just say I think Volk's got the experience, and is hey, it could be a long night for Islam. You yeah, never know. it could. But I can't wait to see this so, fight. Hold bro. on, hold on. I can't wait. I do want to say, I do think it's, he's going to finish it. Third round. Nope. I'm always one round off. Second round. Oh, wow. Second round finish for Alexander the Great. Damn. That is my pick. Oy, it's a great pick. Yeah, man. Yeah. We want to know you guys' picks, so please let us know. Yeah, in make, comments. Exactly. Comment all that good stuff. And, you know, make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to do all that stuff. Because we talk about this stuff pretty often. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Doc? Oh, yeah. Oh, and and uh, where can they follow us on YouTube, Devin? You can follow us at MA Neighborhood. And what about the IG? MA Neighborhood underscore Graham. And like I said and Devin said, 
You got to like, comment, subscribe to make sure we know what you guys thinking and we will let you know because it's not the MMA neighborhood without you. Dude. I am Steven. I'm Devin. And we will see you all after UFC 284. Let's get it.